Hey everyone, today I have been working on stuff to get the kids room a little bit better. You already saw Tim put up these magnet boards and those little green cubbies that are over there. And we've also put something else special right there behind you that is really exciting, but we're not gonna show you until Friday. But today I'll give you a little sneak peek. These curtains are just like the, um, sort of the like room darkening curtains that make it really dark, which are so nice for kids because then they think it's really dark outside even if it starts to get light, which with the time change, we don't have that issue anymore. We just have the issue of trying to get the kids to sleep. <laughs> but for the longest time, it's just been these ugly brown curtains up and it's time for a change. We're gonna continue to use those brown curtains, but I'm gonna add to it and make something nicer to put on the back too. And the boys have an ugly brown curtain as well. So we're gonna make something else to go in front of it that looks better. Are you excited? Hi. Yeah, say hi everybody. <laughs> right now, while we are getting closer to the birth of the twins, this might be kind of seeming like an odd time to be doing so much to um, improve the kids' rooms and not just concentrate on all the twin stuff because we have plenty to do that has to do with the twins. Um, but I want to get this room stuff done and out of the way first. And that kind of goes back to in September when we were celebrating Sukkot and learning more about the Israelites being freed from Egypt and how they wandered in the desert for 40 years and lived in temporary houses or tent type of things. And um, in celebrating that and also celebrating the fact that our time here on earth is also temporary. And we had been looking for a house to buy, hopefully, um, for quite a while. And when that fell through, I was really bummed. And as we were going into Sukkot, I was learning about myself of just how much security I had been putting in um, the idea of owning a house because all growing up, I have only lived in a house that we've owned once because um, my dad was a pastor and so we lived in the church parsonages and so those weren't even our houses. So, and then Tim and I haven't owned a house yet since being married. And so everything that I've known for the majority of my life has just been temporary. And that's been really frustrating. And for the kids' rooms, like what they have had in there for the last almost three years um, was just like a temporary deal because I was like, well, we don't own this house. I don't need to put a whole lot of effort into it. Um, and then I was feeling like God was saying, yes, this is temporary, but I also care how you take care of what you have that is temporary. And so that's part of this is going to make these curtains right here for the boys' room to go up in their room. And I'm making these curtains for the girls' room. the curtains yay we just gotta hang them up but we'll do tomorrow. yes that'll get done you'll get to see those in the morning but we'll show you yeah so just hold on a second <laughs> we're gonna do some q a with you guys but the kids are sleeping already for the night so we'll hang them up in the morning and show you in just a few minutes for you but questions q a do you give the kids the days off kids in traditional schools get off i.e thanksgiving break if so how long do they get off for we kind of just do our own thing. I mean, on Thanksgiving Day, they won't do any school. On Christmas Day, they won't do any school. They probably won't do any school on Christmas Eve. Um, but they also get days off when kids are in school. Um, and usually when we do school, it only takes half a day. So Or less. I yeah. Mean, it and it's usually fun stuff. They like to have structure anyways. And so 
it's kind of easier to go through the summer and just continue to have structure for your kids instead of everybody being like, I don't know what to do with myself, so we're just going to start arguing and fighting with each other. Usually we use the holidays as a teaching opportunity to teach the kids about why that day matters and the history behind it. So it's still kind of like a school day. Um, cause, but we don't like split up like this is school time, this is not school time. Like while we're sitting around the table, we will review like eating dinner or lunch. We'll review rhyming words and um, different like number math stuff, you know. So it's just and they of, like, like it. It's like it. you do it like a game type of way. Like you make yeah. it fun, and so they enjoy it. And it's kind of a privilege when the kids get to do a school activity before going to bed at night. Like they want to stay up late and do that, you know. So, uh, so that's cool. So yes, they do get days off, but it's. We don't follow it strictly. Bright Haley fan asked how many weeks along I am, and I am 29 weeks along right now. I actually do a weekly update over on my channel at youtube.com slash Dana Schmoyer. Nice plug. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so if you want to keep up with my weekly updates on how I'm doing, you can go over there and watch those. Another comment more so than a question that Tim was really excited about was from Domestic Chris of coming up with some H names that he really likes and what about Havila and Hadessa has the meaning really good meanings on them which the meanings do trump the they, style they are, of the they both have good hebrew meanings and they fit with our other daughter's names they do but i've been trying to stay away from h names like i haven't even looked at h names um just because we didn't do hannah and hallie on purpose it was just that's where we were in our story at the time and we liked the meanings of them um, and so that's just what they got. I was telling Hannah today, I was like, Hannah, maybe we should give you and Hallie new names and <laughs> the twins can have Hannah and Hallie. <laughs> so, but, so those are on the top of Tim's list. Not oh, the top, but we both have to like them, of course. For I know. To get but I was like, oh, that's, those are good suggestions. But uh, I, just, I like the meanings behind both of them. I just I I want that. something. Oh, we live in the United States, so like I want right. something that people can pronounce. Because yeah. you even had a hard time pronouncing. Yeah, Hadessa is a common Hebrew name uh, or Jewish name, but it's not common American English name. So. Yeah. So. Good morning. The boys are awake. And Zeke, what did you find? What did mommy make? Why don't Why don't you show us how they work? Because there's like three layers of blinds here. Yeah. <laughs> mommy did layers. a good job. There's only two. No, there's another layer. The blinds are actually behind it. Oh, that's true. Yeah. yeah so we yeah, move those to the side. I think we're going to get like little straps to put around the bottom so that we can, you know, quickly strap them open, you know, and keep them tied back. And then you got the actual blinds on it. Do you like them, Zeke? Mm -hmm. Mommy did a good job, huh? What do you say to Mommy? Thank you, Mommy. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, I like having a give your sisters a kiss. <laughs> You like what? I like having a different color than that dark brown. Yeah. I like these ones. Brightens up the room a little bit. Yeah. Let's go check out the girls. And in the girls' room, what do we got, Hannah? What did mommy? Hey, hey, yeah. What's up? Did you did you wake it's up to like those mommy. this morning, mommy? Uh -huh. You woke up, mommy. Mommy, daddy hung those up last night. Aren't they cute? We were sleeping, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Can you open them up and show us what it looks like? Open Slide open. open. And oh, you're tall enough to quite do it. Yeah. Now I think get up in my bed. There it is. Yeah. Looks nice. I'm glad I, those hide behind there. Don't. Yeah. Sure Are we gonna make little like uh, get some hooks and stuff yeah. to Maybe wrap later. the bottom back? That's not really my first priority mm -hmm. anymore. It looks good though, doesn't it, guys? And then there's another one right over here. Yeah. So you guys, your rooms will look pretty nice. during the day and stay nice and dark during the night, yeah. which is really helpful, Get, helping the kids sleep and not waking up too early. <laughs> we don't let them know what time it is. <laughs> Looks good. I like it. Cool. Do you like it? Cool. Well, thanks for hanging out with us today, guys. It's been fun yesterday and this morning. We're about to go do our homeschool, right? So you guys done it doing your morning chores? School. Yep, and we had some fun school plans. So thanks for hanging out, guys, and we'll see you guys on Friday. Bye. I had him separate out all these magnet yeah, letters. Do have some more. Yeah, that's okay. And put lowercase over here and uppercase over here. And he did pretty good. Yeah. You got almost all of them correct.